This is the tale of how Hollow ended his life. He spent the next 50 years looking for something in the fields of wheat. We're never quite sure what he was looking for. We only know that he never found it. He spent his days and nights searching among the ripe golden wheat. He eventually made friends with an ass. He named, for some reason, Rage. He fed well, it carrots <laughs> you are an ass. day by day. Let's go. Just tried to tame it. Look. Instead, he found himself Stop jumping it. on top of it. Shove it around. And he accidentally broke his ass in three separate places. Wow. Until he had to put down his ass in a mercy killing scenario. Damn it, let me, while let destroying me, let me get on it. all of the wheat. <laughs> For Hollow could not control his ass. <laughs> it kept evading him through the wheat field as he chased his ass down. He eventually gave up on his ass and went back on his long quest. He eventually multiplied his asses many times and he had a whole herd of asses. They were his asses and he loved them. He oh called each God. one of them its own name, Ass 1 and Ass 2. Wow, that's such terrible naming. He eventually rode them into the sunset, taming each of his asses. Oh my god. He grew to know them all intimately, as if they were no, his own no, asses. No. no, no, no. Which indeed, they were. For he was incapable of escaping his new ass empire, as he rode off into the sunset. Will we meet Hollow again? Will we find out what he was looking for in the field of wheat? Will we find out what happened with his asses? We will never know. That is the story of Hollow and the Wheatfield. Thank you.